Come on in. Hey, welcome to our project at Longfellow. I am super excited to show you this one. We're doing something different today. You probably saw the sign on the front door that said, don't come in without your booties on. This house is only a week away from being finished. You'll hear power equipment in the background. You're gonna see people in the background. This isn't a film set, this is a live construction project. And what we're gonna do is a before and after. One week out, and then we're gonna show you one week after moving, show you what a difference it makes. But before you get too far into the house, Take a look at the formal powder bath. This powder bath is super cool. What I love about it is it's got a vestibule to it. What does a vestibule mean? It means there's this space there before you get to the water closet. It gives your guests privacy to where they can feel comfortable when they're using the restroom if there's a big party going on. What I love about this entryway we're in now is the floors. I love that kind of off-white and tan checkered board. I love this big sconce. It kind of creates a big power element when you walk in. But the most unique thing in this space are these moldings. They kind of look like plaster moldings. They're actually done out of sheetrock and paint, which is something different from just your typical trim. I also love that detail on the HVAC vent. People notice those things. That's the metaphysics of the house. That's the thing that you can't put your finger on. But if I tell you about it, you'll go, ah, that's why that house is unique. Keep following me in. Oh, when you walk in, you walk into the dining room. This is pretty unique. This family is a repeat client. They're the best. They have a huge family and they've always been really big into entertaining in their formal dining room. But what's interesting in this space is this space is a flow through space, right? It's a dining room, but you'll walk through it to get to the family room, which I'll show you in a minute. And it's how you get to the office but it's a really big space because they wanted to accommodate a huge dining room table so they can bring their extended family over. But it also looks outside to the patio where there's a really cool fireplace. And it's got a great view of the exterior of the house. It's a front yard neighborhood, so they'll be able to hang out out there and say hi to their neighbors. Keep coming with me. Let me show you the office and the bar that you get to through the dining room. Actually, it's a little, a little dark in here. There we go, that's better. Okay, so we're in the bar. We got to the bar through walking through the dining room. And this unique space also connects to the office. I love what they've done here. They've got the really unique tile that's ultimately antique mirrored. They've got the floating glass shelves. They've got the really unique black marble and they've got the tonal tone cabinets in the countertops. But I love that this space is in the right place. It's got these really pretty arches and it connects to the dining room and the office, which are really the two places where you need a bar close by. Come with me to the office. We're in the office and this is one of those offices that actually gets used. My client was working in an in-home office before COVID. And so he, as you can see, is already setting it up for dual screen monitors and he's gonna spend a lot of time in here. We talk about this often, but this has multiple sides of light. There's a big window with a transom on the front there's two windows on the side and there's light coming in from the bar and the family room. I love the different layers of this room. I like that it's dark and moody, but yet it's got a ton of natural light. I love the combo of the beams. We've got painted box beams that match the same color of the walls. We've also got stain grade wood that's integrating into those box beams. And last but not least, I love how they played the wood tone color of the floors. It matches in a way to the ceilings but I love, love, love the built-ins and the way that the designer Megan Bean has tied it all together. Remember, we're not finished yet, but I wanna show you the bathroom of the office so that ultimately this space can be a full downstairs guest bedroom. I love this wallpaper and how it blends with the tile. I love the lighting that's backlit behind the mirror. And you're gonna see, once again, we're not done yet. And so you're gonna see the construction process of how we do some of this and how we protect the house just days away from moving. Come with me from the office to the family room. There is so much to talk about. So before we get any further in the dining room, there's some really cool things to think about and it's these beams and this natural brick. This is antique brick that was once on an old building in downtown Dallas. And I love when you find materials that have a story and you just really bring it all together. But I love how those beams from the dining room are in different unique shapes, but then they carry into the family room. I love the scale of this room. So everybody on Instagram and Pinterest talks about the features of a home and that's cool. 
but the scale and the architecture is what makes the home hug you. It's that cozy factor that makes you hang in a family room and say, this just feels right. A lot will change in this room. We'll have a TV hung. We'll have a lot of other features that get cleaned up, blue tape, paint, a lot of the mastic paper that's over the hardwood floors will get taken off and then we'll get the final coat and polish on the hardwood floors. We'll put some door hardware on. This room is gonna completely transform, especially when you've got furniture. Come take a look at the master with me. We'll start to point out a few features in here that are really gonna change and be different. I can't wait to show it to you. The big reveal on the master is really gonna really be shown when we put in the furniture and the curtains because this room, for the most part, is pretty finished. We've got all the trims on, we've got the TV and the speaker hung, we've got the windows in, all the paint's done, the touch-up's nice, we've got the electrical fixture in. So this is a great example of a room that's pretty well done, but I think the big transformation here we'll show you later when all the furniture gets installed. Come with me to the bathroom in the closet. So when we're finishing up house, there's a lot of things that we're trying to do. We're trying to make sure that nobody's using the operable toilets. You can see behind me, we've always got blue tape on those. We're keeping those clean. We're really doing the final cleaning in this space. You can see little blue tape here and there. That's just showing and pointing out to our painters areas that we really want to focus on and touch up. I cannot wait to show you this room when we've got all the final touches done. We're only a week away from moving and this kitchen is a mess. And as you can see behind me, there's a lot of things missing. And that mess can be cleaned up pretty quickly to deliver the house to the client and make it a home. But one thing we're not gonna be able to fix because everything we're dealing with in the global supply chain are the appliances. We actually ordered these last year. We got ahead of ordering our appliances because we knew this was gonna be an issue and we could not have ordered them earlier. And luckily, most of them are in, but the fridge and freezer are not gonna be in. You can see the big hole behind me. You can see the temp fridge that we bought them just as a solution until we get the final product. So that's a bummer. But that's just a part of the final touches of moving a client into a house. So you're looking at the panel that's gonna go on the fridge and freezer once it's finally here. There's a lot of other things in the kitchen that we still need to do. A couple of things are like the dishwasher panel. Can't wait for it to be installed. We're just a week away. And those are things that worry people sometimes. They walk in here, they're like, this does not look finished. But if you'll keep following me, you'll see a couple other things. I, I, but I really don't want you to see what's behind me. I don't want you to see that top for the room because it's gonna be a really cool way to show you how we tied it in the kitchen. But go and take a look at the downstairs family room or the downstairs kids game room and workout room. These are the kind of things that are being done just days before moving. Hey, there's wet paint behind us, so don't touch it as you're walking up. And ultimately, that is the biggest thing we do in the last weeks and even month up until a client moving into a home is touch up paint, touch up paint, touch up paint. You can see the wet paint below me. You can see it up and down the staircases. The staircases get such heavy traffic from all our vendors and our subs. So some of the last things that get touched up before a client moves in, handrails, walls, and ultimately the connections between the stairs and the walls right before a homeowner moves in. Now this is where we really freak people out is the outside of the house. It's the last thing to get done. Landscaping, we try to install it with all the hardscape, the retaining walls, the fire pits, the irrigation, the drainage, about three to four months out. But it just drags on and getting those final details in the landscaping and the exterior of the home is the most important thing. The other thing that happens sometimes just two weeks before a homeowner moves in is we take up off the blue tape off the windows and doors because that was there to protect the doors from getting scratched and getting them broken. So you can see behind me that's gone. So at least it's looking like a house. And I cannot absolutely wait to show you when it's all finished. Please subscribe and stay tuned, like the video. For part two, we show you the big grand reveal once the clients have moved in and start to make this place their home.